Well, this is actually the time I went with this Jeffrey, what's up? Went out there and turned on one little burner to warm up the Castleberry hot dog chili. And pop goes the breaker. Live stream gone. Oh, you like Bud Files? What's up? <laughs> Hell yeah. Lock him thumbs up and make me look good. One on uh, one versus one in a, a battle. I just came out of this fast travel and somebody just shot me for no reason. So I came up with a sawdust, just shot him. He didn't like he didn't like it too well. But, but no. Yeah, but he left. Yeah, I guess he got insulted. He, I was just like, dude, just get out of here, you know? Leave me alone. I hate when people do that, just say, oh, let's pop this dude. Just love this bar so much, huh? Wait, 
What's in here? Is something in here? Another day. Man. I was looking for some puzzles, but got rid of them down there for everybody did. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to go back to camp as soon. Hey, Fox in the store, aka Steel Money. I'll buy you some Arby's too, hell yeah. What's up, chat? Are you live streaming? That was like that dude trying something. Yeah, right there. So you what? The dude. Where? Oh. Bad scores. So, oh, here he comes with his posse. Oh, he went and got help. Oh man, they're shooting each other. Maybe. Not shooting. They're not shooting you. So let's go. That's. Well, maybe it wasn't bad scores. Maybe it was somebody else. Yeah. Who that you killed left? So they killed somebody, and then then they left. I thought it was a player that killed. No. Maybe it wasn't. By the way, do we have anything um, with train? Might as well get, might as well get that done, because we all know how the train can go. A uh, bounty hunter. One player bounty is collected. We need to get that yet. Are you going to go to Tumbleweed, or where are you at? Where are you at? Are you at Tumbleweed? I was taking dudes. I was taking the dude's horse back and he left. Oh, and maybe we start showing. Oh, man. I dare you shoot me. Nope, he's not gonna shoot me. Wonder why. Yeah. 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 There was somebody in Armadillo. Here, hop on the back. So we can get your horse back. <laughs> And just like that, he's also out of here. Um, a lot of people don't like an armadillo, though. I mean, I'm thinking about um, going to back to Valentine where we were, but it's up to you. What do you want to do, Willie? Yeah, we can get back about that. Yeah, I'll probably be on here till 12 or so. Bounty. Where? 
I got one one um, bounty here that is three um three uh dollars or like the three S's. You want me to do that one? Huh? Yeah, don't go my way. Just back, 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 back. Go around. He's riding with a gang or something. Now we're on the right track. On them. I'm out of here. I'll, 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 I'll be with you. Get him out of here. I'll be able to rest.
boy, chiefs. That's always usually fun. Is your horse not coming? Yeah, come on mine. Come on mine. I'll get him on there. You start shooting. Catch him up. I bugged him with my rifle. Oh shoot, we might not make it. Okay, we're gonna make it. I think. I'm gonna be close, but we're gonna make it. Yep, I made it. Yeah, if you would have waited for a couple seconds more, I don't think we would have um, gotten down here in time. You get paid for that? I did. Instead of driving all the way down there to go to the post office, I'm going to use the fast travel and walk a pee. A lot easier. I just think, Willie. Really. Are you muted again? Oh. 
That, that's a little bit too loud now. Can you hear me now? Hello, testing, testing, testing. Hello, can you hear me? Boogity, 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 boogity. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to Strawberry's post office. You go. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Really? Can you hear me? Really? Can you hear me? It's been a while. You ain't been seeing another butcher, have you? <laughs> Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Oh, that's why the fucking guys couldn't hear me. My fucking mouthpiece is up here. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Boogity, boogity, boogity. What's up? Can you boogity, hear me boogity, now? Boogity. Can you hear me now? 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 I can hear you. Can you Good. hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. What the devil? What the devil? Uh, what the devil? What? What happened? Well, that's what AI said. I don't say shit like what the devil. 
the fuck? I'm going to camp see um how um close Crips is done with the thing. Alright, yeah, hers popped up something early when he was in her posse, so I'm gonna drop out and go see what her Crips did. Okay. You away. Too late. Uh, really? We had his bar completely full yesterday. And that's all we got. Quarter up. Wow. Yeah, I've been hunting a couple of times real quick. He's operational. Um, He's got some hide to work with. He kissed my ass some cigarette because he just had all day to roll one of these. Well, that's the fucking point. You wait till you get the fucking controller after you sat there with nothing to do for an hour. And then you say, no, I'm, I'm ready for a cigarette. Well, you just had a fucking hour. You could have rolled a cigarette. You chose not to. So why would I hand you the controller so I could roll your fucking cigarette? Crips. So yours is a 98. Yeah, and you won't go over there and start making more. Maybe he wants to go make that babies with Maggie instead. 99 now. Those be some other babies with him. Little Crips with Maggie. Maybe I should load the flag and then you can take a shot at it so it'll start working again. Don't need it on here. Well, you want, want to come over here and take a shot at Crips here? She's, she's empty at her camp. She's running around trying to hunt stuff. Oh, by the way, I got a cougar. Oh, yeah. Two-legged? Four-legged. Oh. I'm going to shoot it. Two-legged. Just so you know. Okay, I am, uh, I'm officially now full. That's what she said. Want to join, um, so we can do this? Uh, she might, I don't know. Hang on. What's up? My, my, um, Crips is, um, 
Okay, give <laughs> give me a few minutes because I gotta. I my crypts was like completely empty, and I gotta give him some stuff. Okay. Like cougar today. Nice. I'm gonna guess where your camp is at. Yeah, right over in by the cougar spot. Now, which cougar spot, though? Um, the one over over by the wooden thing. Oh. I'm gonna get you some of uh... it. I'm get you some animals here. Did you hear me, Maria? Huh? I wrote the dough. Oh, did you? For you. Yipper. I'm into you now. Okay. I'm on I'm on the little pathway heading back with two deers. Heading over to the camp. I'm going to try to find your camper. I think I found it already. Yeah, towards yours was the last time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's even far away from yours. I think I'm, I'm like right there, yeah. This is where I put, put my deer down. Gonna be out yeah. Supplies before too long. I'll take whatever I can get. I need a resupply too. If I start my resupply real quick and do it, will you grab me a couple more animals to turn into him? Yeah. There's that deer. Okay. I'll try to get you a perfect one, but I can't guarantee it. <laughs> it's it's already perfect there you right. Usually the best Raccoon. ones I find are back Whoop. there by the by the woods behind the fence over there. I I just ran over a raccoon. Supplies are good. I'm a happy man. That's going to be on my person, then. I wish I just okay, picked I him up and just gave it on him, but I mean, just did it like that and just had it hanging off my side. Yeah. I'm going to say, if you, if you want to, you can call your wagon out if it makes it easier. Probably wouldn't make it easier. I should have done that instead of trying to run back and forth. I'm going to try to get some, well, I would have to join the your posse to be able to donate. Yeah, that's fine. As soon, yeah, as soon as I'll start the posse up as soon as I finish this. Because I know it won't let me start it while I'm doing this. I completely forgot. But yeah, I'll start the posse up as soon as I run this mission. 
I just gotta get a man's need to post so I'm it'll be a quick one. I hear nose hair back here. Yeah, I just hit over here. I just blasted a jackrabbit. <laughs> Quickly drop my posse. I can go in yours. Got another dope for you. Okay. Got a dope and a jackrabbit for you. Was that you I just ran past? Not I know of. Hey there. Is that you? I'm back at camp now. Okay, that I wasn't just, you. I just ran past the blue dot. I didn't know if it was you or not. I saw some somebody burn crazy here. Nice work. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that you? Horse? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> nope, nope, that's not you. Oh. Somebody else. Okay. Uh, where is your camp? I mean, uh, I'm. Okay, posse's up. There. Thank you. <laughs> I was born lost and I'm uh, an uh, illegal, I'm illegal immigrant in the vote for Trump rally. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't say that. Might be offensive to somebody. Did you hear what I even said? Yeah, most of it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I know I need to desensitize myself. I'm like right here, right here, right beside you.
you like American pronghorns or not really? If they're good or perfect, it don't matter to me. I'll give them to Kurt. I, I really just care lost him right now. The I just want to fill him back up a little bit. We're well stocked for the time being. Let's give him fish. No one accept that. Right. That's, it'd that's it'd probably take there. well. I can't say that it'd take longer to fill up with feathers than it would to fill up with fish, if he would accept fish. Bad badger with my environment rifle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I skin it or I pick it up? What? I'm gonna skin it. <coughs> oh, I got a badger with uh, my environment rifle. Oh. I'm helping you guys um, fill up. I just find it ironic when I start hunting for small game. I start hunting for a small game with the varmint rifle. Um, there, um, there are no small game. But when I'm out with a bigger rifle, I mean, you can find them in like, like it's nothing. Smoking weed? Yes, sir. Weed is gonna kill ya. What's he saying? Welcome back, Jeffrey, but I can't figure out what that says on my phone. Relin needed. I have no clue, Jeffrey. What you talk about, Willis? A lot of papers and filters on there. That much. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I
Uh, perfect gear for you. Bring out my hunting wagon. is vibrating. I'm holding my controller up by the mic. I'm, uh, I got, got my, uh, hiding wagon out if you need, um, right. want me to uh, bring the hunting wagon to you or not? No, I'm on this camp now. Chocolate finish, black and Oreo. And I just got mugs for the second cookie. Mimi loves the Mexican cookies. Is Ashley or GLM in the chat? Uh, GLM was here earlier. I don't, I don't know if she still is, and I haven't seen Ashley in this one. Cab by the four cabins of the lull train. What's a what what? Over by the four cabins there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Bear claw. There's a vulture. Yeah, where the grizzly bear usually bear shows claw. up. Yeah. There um there is uh vultures egg there. You're looking healthy right now. Oh. Good stuff. Picked it up because I was looking for a grizzly bear. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. Turkeys have any fat, right? They don't. Hey, like me now. Hey, like me now. I just painted my first fucking deer on the move. And he's still perfect. 
so perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the first time I painted one. It was the first time I painted one and didn't shoot it in the ass. We shoot it multiple times. Yep. They took off. They started. They wasn't running, running, but they were starting to walk fast, trot down the creek. I hit my fucking dead eye and just let it walk through my fucking dock. Painted its head. Pulled the trigger. Well, congratulations, for you. We, um, you should you, you should be hearing from the president anytime right. soon now. Something I should have been able to do at fucking level twenty. <coughs> And now I'm level fucking <coughs> 500 and something on my account. Fucking, we're level 163 on this account. So after yep. over 600 levels, I finally figured out how to paint shit. <laughs> yep. I've been painting them all day on the story mate too. Actually, it's it's harder for me. I do it every now and then on story mate. What do you got to hit? Is it R L B to paint in story mode? I forget. Well, that's helpful. I think it is. Though. I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll get back on there later. Supplies are good. I'm a happy man. stock for the time being. This is good quality. Very nice. Beautiful. That's top notch. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. Yeah, let, let's uh, go run, run by it. Does she sky everything now? Yeah, I mean, it's not full, full, but it's, it's three quarters full or more. Got stuff turned in. We do that. Yes, she still got room. I mean, but yes, yeah, it's, it's over three quarters. Okay. 
Okay, let me let, let, let me um visit Madame Nozar. Goodbye, someone here, and then I'll get down there. Oh yeah, cheers, Jeff. It's, it's out now, but I figured you probably heard us coughing. But I forgot to say cheers, everybody. My bad. What? 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 Let me out on the screen. Okay, my posse's up. All right, you'd already done it, Nazar. Yep. Right. Just need to buy and buy some stuff. I clean my guns and then I'll be ready to go. My policy is open. Should have seen my hunting wagon go by. It's all, all the way over um, towards Blackwater. Some good condition. Now, some good condition to go to the money box. And I'm ready to go. Let me know when you are. Man, it's almost not worth it to make the to make a distant delivery. Six twenty-five. Are we at one point not getting like eight twenty-five for it? We were getting twelve hundred. Oh, eleven. Stumble across that little train situation out back. Uh, 
Excuse me. Chili, chili, chili. Casper chili with some black beans in it. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet I blow the blanket off the bed when I wake up in the morning. Maria, are you here with me in chat? Are you still here with me in chat? Yeah, she, but she's, uh, yeah, she's on the wagon, Jeffrey, so she'll be driving here in a second, so that's why she's got the controller now, so she can't fight, but she's in there. Did you know, did you know that there's a daily challenge for us, so that's oh, yeah. why I'm doing that. I got you. Daily challenge. You got to, well... Yeah, it's supposed to count both ways, but it's not counting for her, so it's not going to It would. Yeah, you have to drive them. Right, Jeffrey. Yep, it's just you and her. Just the two of you. Just the two of you. Just you and her. Just the two of you. Just the two of you. Just you and her. Man, is this the first time we won't get attacked by bandits? Oh, they'll be here. Give them a minute. Probably 20 players sitting in Valentine's waiting for us to pop up, just like we just did. And they announced to the whole fucking Red Dead world, Hey, these motherfuckers running the wagon. Attack! That's so like in the real world, right? Right. <laughs> Could you imagine every time you went to cat, you were going to cash a paycheck? If you didn't get it on direct deposit and you had to actually get cash paper check, like the old days, yeah. and what's every a, what's every a paper time check? You, every time you went to cash the paper paper check, a uh, fucking everybody got a fucking message on their phone. Road warriors got his paycheck. He's on his way to the bank. Stop him! <laughs> you know that would get so annoying. Be though. fucked up, wouldn't it? And then the next thing you know, you got a hundred people fucking trying to kill you. Over your fucking paycheck that they couldn't even cash if they did steal it from you. But, you know. Well, this is a little bit they different. They just want to steal it. Not really, I mean, because they, they steal it and they can they get a little bit of money out of it. But nothing like they would if they just make fill their own fucking wagon up and take it. You know. Yeah. This one with the rock that I'm supposed to be careful with, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, go all the way to the yeah. right when you come around here. Not left. There you go. Not that far left. <laughs> Jeez. Can you guys tell who's driving? Jeffrey, can you tell who's driving? There you go. This hill right here, I never, I never wrecked on it, but it just fucks me up. I'm coming up the way it's built. Wow, no, no players, no nothing, cheaper. No, no players, no fucking. I mean, it's gonna be a shootout. Yeah. That's what worries me. Yeah, we'll try to forget about the, we'll forget about the shootout sometimes. Oh, I mean, but we went far enough that AI would have came after us already. Well, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm more worried about the players than anything. Um, we got E rounds. Got Don as well. We didn't got Don Bows. Didn't bring the bow. It won't let us shoot it off the wagon. That's where I never bring Don Bow. 
If I gotta call the horse out, I'll have it anyway. They won't let me shoot from the wagon, so I just carry a repeater and a bolt action and the navies. Giving us like long ride there, Jeep, or is it doing us a long way? No, it's, no, it's a normal trip. Coming up on that fucking road that goes down the side of the mountain. You'll see what I'm saying. You'll see what I'm saying. Hard hard. No, it's not hard. You'll know what I'm talking about. As soon as you come hearing about fucking. You Wait, pass you're the rock the structure up here. Hey, you won't have to hit any brakes. You'll see what I'm saying. You're on the side of a mountain right now. You're already on that road that I'm talking about. But you'll see what I'm yeah. talking about as soon as you come over this hill. You'll remember what I'm talking about. I think I remember what you're talking about. You played this game longer than I have. I played it more than you have, probably. You played it longer than yeah, I have. Yeah, probably. I play it longer and you play it more yep. than I have. See, Greg's going down the side of the mountain. Yep. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we get down here, hell, I can see Armadillo from here. I know. <laughs> you know, I can, I can see the motherfucker too, down. Too bad we don't have the invention of what we call the helicopter. I guess we should have kept the rolling block with us. You start fucking dark practicing, motherfucker schmear. <laughs> that would be funny. Get some practice in with the roadblock. Pop. Pop. That way you get there. No, um, there, there's, uh, no, um, no AI there to stop you. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't seen bad guys yet, Jeffrey. They're up here at the station waiting on us. We're gonna have to shoot them. Shoot them all. Well, no, no players. Hopefully. Hopefully there ain't none of those, and if there is, hopefully they stay out of the crossfire and they don't, you know, take an accidental one to the shoulder and take a person. Oh, he shot me. Well, you yep, were standing between him and the fucking shootout, dumbass. Which that is always weird. Why right. do that? Right. When it's shooting like this, and if you're up another player, you know it's not yours. You either shoot the people or get the hell out of Dodge, man. You know, it's that simple. Everything. She's going to let, yeah, she'll loot him. We got time. Yeah. Yeah, we got time.
So when these first get wet, if um if uh if it starts raining while uh, you're delivering the stuff, we think that would be like a decrease in price. Right. I don't know why I didn't put tarp over. Yeah, exactly. You do that for moonshine. Right. that didn't have covered wagons because we see them all over the fucking place. Hmm. What a thing. Yep, she got The bird, she got that too. You get your distance. Nope. No. I am one hundred, one hundred, or eight hundred, five, seven hundred and sixty-eight um, five miles off. Which I'm not gonna give crap about. Wow. Wow. So we deliver yours or all oh, hers are nowhere near being done. Yeah, hers wasn't even nowhere. It was like a quarter full and Top bar was completely empty. So. Yeah, I'm almost Blue. getting to be 12 o'clock here. Yeah. So, um, I'll probably stop as I'm ahead now, so. Alright. I know we haven't played long, but. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably stop now and, uh, Talk to you later. I'll probably talk to you during the weekend, but um, but I probably won't be going live or anything like that. Uh, I'll see you later on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Have a good night. Yep.
real place to start me at. But that was a hell of a place for it to start me at. Standing on the edge of the damn dock. It looks like St. Denis. Sure. Because I think I just left the fence when we read all the pamphlets. And then we went and joined Redwood. I never even stopped to make my explosive rounds yet. in here. Be nice if I could hold 99 of Buy some more moonshine and find out. to match my prices, you know. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. So all these, I'll have 50 of them. Hey. Huh? I was looking. I was seeing how many center area buck shots I could make, because apparently I knew I could hold them on 10. So I bought 20, and it made all these. So I bought 30 more. <coughs> 28 or 28. It's a weird number, but I guess that's what we can carry. Just don't have a damn recipe for dynamite area.
waves that are holding it?
That damn heart thing, man. Thing in, thing in my ass. Yeah, where you can put the hearts and hit the hearts and shit on the live streams now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Instagram. Yeah. What kind of handguns do we carry? I'm gonna aim at the store can. Advice. You hear anyone in this town speaking Italian, you walk right the other way. Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> Go 
okay. Much appreciated. Lighten's my load. Now, let me just look in here. Express boats. I got a good gun, sir. That should be good. You fucking suck. How do you do? Just stole two hundred ninety-three dollars off of him. I took it back. find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. Very nice. We're supposed to be robbing this dude at some point too. There's a lot of question marks back here. Get 
Warren got him on the revolver. Why would a gunsmith? Good God. Have a Warren got him, got him on the revolver. Going down in blaze of glory. I don't know why that would have why it didn't work. I went to the back room. No one didn't even. Try to fucking take out the bad guys, Jeffrey, and all you get is a fucking $85 fucking bounty out of it. I didn't even rob the goddamn register, man. The only reason I looted dudes because I thought maybe, I couldn't remember. So I thought maybe, uh... Uh, he'd have a key to that back room or something. But it was telling me that I was supposed to investigating shit. Well, I know there's money back here. I've got back here before. Just can't remember how I got back here. And then I get back here and it's like invitation only. So I get up there and pull my guns expecting it to tell me that, uh, you know, give me the option to tell him to open the back room up. But he didn't do that. Instead, he pulled his little Warren Cattleman revolver out like he was going to do something. Hey there, girl. Got lit up with whatever the hell I'm shooting right now. I don't even know what the hell he's got. I think one's a double action. Can't remember what the other one is. I probably should just see if we can buy another double action while we was there. I didn't think about it. Uh, I don't know, man. It's in your hand. Do something with it. I've got a racing game, but uh, I've only I, only, I only just like ran the fucking starter race thing or whatever, and uh, it seems all right. We're gonna be playing it on here at some point too. Might be night, you never know. How are you? Need a driver, sir? Not a problem. Come back anytime. What? Yep. 
Yep. Cheers, fuckers. Anybody still awake out there? Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for six days. Go right. tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Was Maybe it's not the right one. I don't know. I don't remember this. He had to eat them, but he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? <coughs> I think Bear is finally finding <coughs> oh. the turtle, and he's getting so Dang it, right done that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friend. The turtle said, if wind comes, I'll just hide my shell. Then bear we'll wind move my mic back up so maybe it won't be so loud. They should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chucky needs a nap. Fanny Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Oh. snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Well, the bear hiding there. Guess that was it. That ex is always trying to show you what's going to be. So there's two different theaters here. We'll see you again. In St. Denis. Oh, yeah, it's the one over by the police station, babe. My bad. It's the one on the corner by the police station. That's where the other one's at. I'll go get it right now. That's that. Get some better seats, too. asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams i have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit to me it's true for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you i met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. Ooh. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. <laughs> you, sir, did you assist? Hmm? Hell yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> Bring out more freaks. Oh. you to hit him right here right in the bread basket go on <laughs> you in i don't know oh the only do danger it. is breaking your arm what are you afraid of ah, come, come on. on do it do it oh, you'll right. see this I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! Oof! What the hell is I have mastered 
hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, How about that? I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. Robio! You'll see that. You nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that. You're not. All right, give up, <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, yeah! I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. I joked. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker, and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared Trash. to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver. Over to my assistant and it's stand at considerable sense. distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using Do lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. Seriously? To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind. As to shoot this bottle you of a lot of ghost. Watch this. My head. This is insane. Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. We need another act. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I. The great Benjamin Tony. Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Do something we care about. What is he doing? Breaking the bush. Oh my god! Them ain't real bullets. Let's 
do that again. Hmm? Hmm. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Tony! In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to yeah. catch a bullet in my teeth. Is no one man enough? Alright, let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? AK. Oh, gotta fight is too much. Incredible. And fire. Let's not keep the audience waiting. <laughs> He's just fine. He is fine. No, Please not. be calm. <laughs> it's 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 just entertainment anyway. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yes, it, it, it's all like a it's a bit Woo! like a lynching, only less American. Marvelous stuff. Marvelous. Yeah. He's not okay. Now, <laughs> I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of. Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit yep, fire yep. from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino. Anybody watch me well.
Wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! Bring it! Hello! Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! The hell Hello. with the telephone! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning, you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. He connect me with my honey, and I ring the bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello. Blackwater calling. Hello. Give us some more. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby mine. Then some other gal will win. 
What a fine tune. She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon. Suspect. That was some men in black shit. Are you a uh, MIB? You just traveled back and you landed in the theater? Yeah. I see you. I bet you got a cure for what Arthur got. Get your ass back here. I want to talk to you. Arthur be good at MIB. He kicks some alien ass. strong woman in this one, I don't think. It won't even let him pull the wheel up now. It won't let him pull the wheel up because they said, somebody, a real cowboy want to shoot me with their gun? All right, I got you. Boom. He did. Huh? Well, well. <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I got to go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh. Good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this for dancing girls. Polar bear. Well, see, that's the thing. The last time there was kind of a burlesque show, man. There, and it wasn't there either. It was a different show this round. And it could be because I shot the... I mean, he told me to shoot him. But that could have been what it was. It was a lovely surprise. It was so sweet of you to come and see the show. Plus, I hope it was a good one. For you, audience can be terrible here. And the boys, well, they are simply thrilled to know you're in their own special way. You're in, in their own special way. Here's the cut of the proceeds you were promised, Miss Marjorie. Kiss, kiss. Well, some she can kiss, kiss. Arthur's in dire need of a blowjob. He's in more dire need of a blowjob than any white man in history. Yes, I stole that from Good Morning Vietnam. It was a great line. I give props for props to be. More dire need of a blowjob than any white man in history. Damn, that's good. Looks like Dom knew to me. Yeah, whatever. You wanna play? You match them up, man. You gonna mix them up. You gonna pick fight, pick up some men.
left trigger you can look at your tiles with you just click whatever it's on. Did you already hit play tile? Yes, I hit select I'd hit him with the double T. Fish. Oh, you had to get fish twice. That right, Ray Raggy. Four, six, six. Hey, double four. You probably play it. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, he was two then. Two is double four either one. You never played uh, Domino's Polar Bear? Yeah, I spent a few days in county. I learned how to play spades, learned how to play Domino's. Up, puts five out there, it's over. What a drop. Make, You're in a tough fish. spot, partner. Right. This is right. nothing. What? Damn it. We gotta go. <coughs> We're back even. Now he's one ahead of. That's the one you're on, you can play this, so just play it, I guess. You got a blank one set in there, so. Yeah. You got a blank one. If you can play your other one, see if it lets you play your other one. Now you don't have a five in there, do it. Alright, play the blank one then. Still got you. Ain't gonna get too much from me. I don't even know what all fives is. Is that dude's name or something? He aims an American. Oh man. Look out. Look out. Look there. Yeah. Look there somewhere. Let women vote. It's time to let women vote. I am. He's 
c'est un scélérat. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do Never played Spades either. It, young man. It's so unappealing. That shit. That's one of y'all. Damn. What I do best. But all we got to do is fucking jail up from this motherfucker. You think you're more intelligent than us? Because you keep us in gilded cages? I pissed you off or what? Damn. Bitch, I wasn't even close to you. Jesus Christ, horses trying to drive over walls and shit. You see that? There was a fucking wagon trying to drive over the wall back here. Get away from these crazy bastards. I know how to play most of these. I know I played, uh, I played Yuki. I know I played Yuki, I know I played Rummy. I know I played Jen, I just don't remember it. How? I know how to play Canasta. Poker. Not even sure about blackjack. Why does it look like in Savannah? I don't know. Huh? Oh, Savannah, Georgia? Could be. Everybody uses fake names on here, even the states. We are in, according to this map of the United States, we are outside of Rhodes in the state of Lemoyne. And basically this would be Louisiana. That's what this would be. This is the swamp area. This would be uh, New Orleans right here. St. Denis would be New Orleans. Ask me. Yeah, you know better. Teach you like redhead stepchild. I got that from my mother. So nobody hate on me. Somebody wanna get fishing? Ooh. Get some rest, girl. Somebody wanna get fishing? Oh. And then he's gonna have to wait. Hey, Javier wanna go fishing. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, You're far too good. Me. Show you a couple of my tricks. Polar bear said, Jim, dummy, you don't wear your clothes down until you 
There's a spot not too far from here. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, man. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Okay, follow me. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Well, move your ass then, homie. Kid because I already started this. Just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feel about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new. Oh. And, I'll always and, 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 and a card to discard. Yep. That's the same way in Canasta, I believe. Yeah, same way in Canasta. Now, you can lay all your cards down in Canasta and not have a discard, but then you're floating. But um, to, to, to win, you have to end it, you have to have a discard. He's doing things a little differently now. You saw what happened with that girl on the Oh, yeah. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people... Pay legs charging? I ain't never seen a pay legs to put a boat in. Or he's talking about having to pay to put a boat in the other legs. Maybe you're right. Uh, I've been scratching the ground today. That would make sense. You know, if it's costing you 25, 30 bucks to launch a boat at a state park, then you might as well go to the damn pay legs. Save the gas in your boat. Asking the wrong fella. <laughs> I've asked that same question, Javier. And I'm a fucking, I'm a American. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Samba. My grandpappy was born in Kentucky. My daddy was born in Kentucky. My other grandpappy was born in Kentucky. Go try our luck. Where you going, motherfucker? Go. Pretty country. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Beautiful. Follow me. Let's go see what's biting. Well, I stand behind you. Oh god. <laughs> I'm holding the button, man. And this is all he's doing. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> now he starts walking. Normal. Because. He was supposed to be in front of him. I won't let him have my wheel. There it is. Jesus. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Don't you worry about what I'm doing. Okay, wow. Well, 
doing I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like I don't know if it's good fish. Staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of it here. Crickets. Thanks. Yeah, it's an abbey. Now, I think it's a, uh... I think it's a, uh... A fluger, actually. It's either a fluger or a, uh... Maybe Ocean City's back in. Probably more likely a fluger. Polar bird said it takes 20 at the state boat ramp. Not in the higher. And it said, he said you can fish from the bank for free, but they charge you to boat. Told you it wasn't that hard. So if you're going to go out after the big fish in the boat, then you're going to pay the same as you do to go to the pay lake. So Come on. You might as well go to the pay lake where you know you got a good chance of catching a big one from the bank. He might be using one of the same abus I got out there. Getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop eating. <laughs> Let's catch a couple more and then head back. My bag is getting full. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Not GLM. No, I have not heard about that, Jeffrey. What, she gonna run for governor of California? Yeah. And I don't, I, I, I mean, I agree with you 100% there. That has a lot to do with it. I'm going to head back. You want to join me or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. But yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's a lot to do with gambling, but. I still think it has a big impact of when we go to a place like Deer Creek, we know there's big fish in there. But if you don't have a boat or you don't know, you know, exact things about that lake structure and depths and, and shelves and stuff like that, then it's going to be a pain in the ass to find one of those fish. We're just going to have to keep going to different spots and throwing shit out until something happens. But when you go to a pay lake, you know, not more acres per se or Heidi's, but you go to Catfish Paradise or a windmill, <coughs> when you cast out your baits in front of a catfish because they're, they're loaded, you know, and they keep them that way. 
Oh, so it's not Hillary Clinton running for governor of California? That's what I was I was scared of. Heading for San Diego, huh? Kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. Oh, my shit my just now after we take these out these, ignorant fools are these uh, weapon dealers. Civil War revivors or survivors. I suppose yeah, down in the basement, to and Cuba, when I went down in the basement, I found the... Anyway, the old boy I found I something, to, but I didn't find the handcuffs. there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bed, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> this might be where we move to Camp Shady Bed. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. See, I don't know if I'll still be able to get stuff crafted after we move camp. I can't remember if we'll get on that all the way up until warmer happens. Or what? Can't remember. Come on, it's this way. On me. Yeah. Every notice every time I'm tying my horse up. I've met these crazies before. Just shows over up, over next to me when I start to think. Well, yes. Tied up, but not where I tied up. No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and said that we were coming back with some of the air source. Mrs. Adams. Yeah. Some different spot. Mrs. Adams is just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. And we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamar. Yeah, and, and I agree with that, man. Y'all you know I mean, they don't have to put the 100-pounders in there, you know. They don't have to put the 60s and 70s in there, but that's what they're trying to make people catch to win money. Instead of just, you know, keeping keeping the 30 pounds or under, you know, even 40 and under, and tagging some fish like they used to in the old days, and if you get lucky and catch fish with tagging, you get paid. Instead of these slots that, you know, it's like a half a pound range. If you don't catch fish in that half pound range, you don't get paid for it. If you don't catch one over 50 or 60, you don't get paid for it. Or, you know, that just made it so so much harder over the years. And, and the guys like me that's done that shit for so long, a lot of them didn't really pay attention to the, to the change and what they did. Or they just got so much money that doesn't matter and they just keep buying the season passes and... They keep winning tournaments, you know. I mean, they, they keep getting paid. But in the meantime, nobody else has a chance of doing shit out there because these guys have fished, those, fished that lake since, you know, the 80s, literally. Some of the one guy's kid, the kid, the young guy that's winning most of it now, I grew up fishing with his dad. And his dad taught me a hell of a lot about the fishing for blues and how to cast bait caster and all that shit but uh now his kids out there and his kids been fishing that lake since he was four years old now he's in his 20s and he, he's hitting five six seven blue cats every time he's out there at least and you know just nobody else just think, even stands a chance man 
But then you go to a place like uh, Windmill and six, seven fish ain't shit, man. If you don't catch 10, 12 fish in a trip, it wasn't a good trip. Because they keep those lakes so over, overstocked. You know. But yeah, when we go to a, a state park like Deer Creek or, or something like that, you know, they don't want to stock anything in there because the state has to pay for it. So the state doesn't want to pay what they want for the blues and the shovels. So they just pay the cheap price for the channel cats, farm raised channels, whatever they may be, and they'll stock those, and that's it. I don't know why, you know, well, yeah, I do know why. I started to say I don't know why they stopped the saw guy and stuff, but Polar Bear explained that to me again yesterday, which I already knew, but he had to remind me that because it's a game fish, because game fish make money. They can have tournaments for walleyes and saw guys and bass and crappie. And, but they don't have no catfish tournaments because they ain't putting no catfish in there. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh... It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have to put some nose here. You hear that? Someone's on the track. Someone's on the track. There, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind us. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that look like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bed. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. They got men covering the house. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Some tents. <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? 
Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Let's give the word. You gonna make a call? We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> and clean off his face. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. This one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Roadblock again, damn it. Go, go, let's haul. Come on, G up, fall in. Exactly.
Yep. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen people drive fucking from... I've seen people drive an hour trip to come to more acres to fish in the front pond with small hooks and shrimp and fucking chicken liver, specifically fishing for channel cats. You know, that's the same thing they can do at any fucking, at the park here in town, they can do that. You know, if they choose to do that every weekend, some of them, hundreds of dollars they spend out there. But there's only certain ones by those season passes because they put them bigger fish in there. And the season passes are only like four and five hundred dollars. So that doesn't make fucking sense to me when they're making over a hundred dollars every weekend that these families come out there. Hell, they're making damn near a hundred dollars a trip just me and Ray going coming out. Yeah, well, not not them together because 32 of them is going in the cab, which would be 34 now. Hey, hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Yep. They hit the wagon pit, huh? Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey. Oh, man. I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. <coughs> Anytime, Arthur. That house is in the swamp where it was just that. Yeah. And that's why like the swamp swamp, but right? yeah, I think so. I don't know. Lake Logan has a flathead tournament about every month, spring, summer, and fall. No shit. Where's that at? Polar bear. Can't catch them from the bank. Is there any videos on YouTube telling us where to fish at? Huh? Buy a season pass to a Channel Cat Lake, like the one farm pond. That would be worth it, right? I still want to fish that that place sometime. If dude will, if dude will let me. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind, you know, if he wants any more in there. We always get Duke or go someplace around there and catch a few more put in there for him. Not overload it, but you know. Like where there's variety in there, you never know what you're gonna get. I mean, still keep the channel cats, but size wise, you know. You said you average five, six, so we'll throw a couple of eight, nine, tens in there. What's up? Dutch. Might as well. 
run this one if it switches camps or whatever. Regardless, after this, one. we'll end this one for tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna set up all night. Might come back on the fucking racing or something. I don't never know. I ain't gonna put racing on this live when I already put in title. It's gonna be Red Dead online and story mode, which is what it is. So I can start a whole new one and call it uh, Asphalt 9. Or Red Dead 1 or Hunter uh, Call of the Wild or whatever it is. suck at that game. You guys will fall asleep watching me play because I can't find an animal. I was thinking about downloading Call of Duty too. But if nobody wants to see me, if nobody wants to see it, I ain't going to mess with it. I suck at it, but I'll try and I'll practice if people want me to. Um, we got the bolt up there. But it on Express for starters. Go to the uh, Peter. Yeah, Lancaster. Yeah. I'll like throw a couple shovels in there. Loaded 15 minutes east of you. You fish here at night? I'm gonna have to do it. Do I need to check it out? That's the dude that wants you to go to the house and get a shit for him. The old slave owner. No. No, you got time to get, get it, and then get, he's somewhere else camping when you take the shit back to him. It don't matter. He gives you a list. You don't have, I don't think you got to do it now, so I don't know. That's You want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Yeah, it's just take parts on Duke Creek instead. That's a spillway, I'll say. That's a spillway or a dam. I call it the spillway at Deer Creek. It's actually a dam. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. My old house. You were discretion, this is my It's all lapidated <laughs> and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. <laughs> we're supposed to live a different life. Say? Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Steads. North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Do that whenever. Huh? You can do that whenever.
actual dam that spills over into some back water. That guard. <laughs> Would we have to catch bait to take up there? Is there good to catch bait there? Whatever you want. It's on me. Know what they like? I mean, uh, okay. most places, the natural thing is the best way to do it. Yeah. It's the least a humble man can do. Yeah, well, you're humble, all right. It's about time I spread this good word. Yeah, yeah. Who else will teach us sinners if not you? Do for you. Yeah, guy with the snake bite says I can use a grab a watch or something. Tab. Grab whatever. Jesus. This if it's not one thing, it's another with him. Your place is old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. Well, let's I'll buy one of them dolls. It's bullshit. It's, you can look through the catalog and let you have whatever out there the same way. Everything says free. Don't say it. What's in the glass case? The glass case. That's funny, you know. I asked him today if I wanted WD-40. Catch fish. Yeah, they. I've seen people. I, I've done it. I mean, way back fucking 30 years ago. I remember trying it with mom. We sprayed it on some groundhog liver, spray, sprayed it on some chicken liver, sprayed it on some bluegill, stuff like that. I mean, we caught fish, but... It was still channels, you know. I mean, hell, I know how to catch channels. Wow. It says view. Check that one out. Yeah. Ernie and Chris, you fish there from time to time? Oh, yeah. I didn't get a bite, but I was at the shelter house. Oh, that's where you went with Cincy? I got you. Yeah, but uh, I feel like the shelter house should be the, the end of fish on if If there's big ones in there, they, they should be up in that deep water during the daytime. That's the last one. Man, Jack is ugly shit. Kind of like the rest of it, too. You're paying 
next time, though. Sexy hoe, bitch. I'm still getting paid. Beyond that. You still, I, th I still need, think you need to put bobbers out there, man. I think you're going to have to fish for them shovel head up off the bottom. And I really wish the fuck we could fish there at night. Because if it's deep right off the bank up there like it looks right there by the shelter, if it's deep right off the bank, we can fish there at night. We can probably fish anywhere from four to seven foot deep, somewhere in that range, with live bait, with bobbers. And catch them fish. There's got to be more than one in there. Of course. And you can tell that fish been in there a while you caught. He was dark. My dear friend, he was used to that, that lake, so he's been in there a minute. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still... But if we can get a good cloud today, we should be able to do the same thing. Losing your employment like or even a, but still, a steady rainy day where we set up in the shelter house and men. try to wash the poles from there. I didn't walk over by the shelter and really see the layout that great. Yeah, this still don't move someone new where you have to be Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Sir. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Ran me out a couple weeks to get dusk. See, that's bullshit. I'd be, I'd be fucking contacting somebody. That's some bullshit. I might do it myself, man. I might contact that DNR. Complained about that myself. Because any place that requires a fishing license is built for fish. What? Oh, yes. Uh, well, what's with? Oh, yeah, because you're in. Think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a horse following you the way. citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty. Horse knows to their dirty work these days. But you don't have guys guns. You forget them a lot. I'm sure I don't I can't see my back, so I'm just gonna follow. Either way, a good cloudy day, or hey, even rain. Archibald like, wants to remind us he's in him. charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff. They have a state stock. We appreciate that. What's that mean? So, you gotta be under 13 to fish it. Not just any moonshiners. Well, I mean, I don't see nothing to write about that. Something sure kids on me. I think that's kind of cool. Had a fortune in a way. Until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. That's not Sensi, though. Or is it right there on the same property as Sensi? If that's the case, then they need to put a fence around that one. They can come lock that fucking thing up at night. Not worried about what we're doing in Sensi. No time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine yeah. Braithwaite has a rather expensive well, that's bullshit. They need to fix that. To but I heard something about it being gold. What's in 13 and under farm they don't want us to catch? Well, that's the rumor. But the Grays and the Braithwaites think the others... You got something special in there? But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. 
They got special, special fish in there. Been treated with the stuff to make the kids want to change their gender after they eat some. Oh, that's over next to the fairgrounds. Hold up. You see that wagon? These damn flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. This must have happened recently. Well, looks of that dude's body, it didn't happen too recently. Hey, I guarantee he'd be stinking. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. The Lemoyne Raiders, because he was shot in the head. I ain't knows who it was. That's how they did detective work back then. He shot clean through the head. This had to be the morning rage. Nobody else can make that shot. Oh, I got you. Jay Black going up, Jason. I see. See if you had guns on you when you got off. Okay. You got handgun. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Let's go. Of Army Free Staters. So the list of horses out there with us. That's seven government officials. They'll grab them soon as you get off. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the brave plates are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash. Mountains. Used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories to oh, tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. I a remember. sailor under the table before breakfast. Bear right again here. He had one tiny hand like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaite's are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's are Oof. strange. Even say Looking for you. Oh, What's wrong put the your, put the, uh, the boat down there in Lancaster on the side. Yeah. I said Lancaster. See? What did I tell you, boys? What See? did I say? See? We said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? 
We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. What are you doing? Telling you throw some fucking dynamite home. Throw dynamite? That's what he just said. I thought he said knock them out and tie them up. Is that what he said? Yeah. Well, if that's what he said, then go do it, I guess. No, well, if you heard what he said. Man, what the fuck? See one by the bridge over there. Well, he's been. Is he trying to start to melt in the water or something? What's up, shrimp dicks? Ah, <laughs> what's up, Ashley? Man, if they, if they made shrimp the size of my dick, that'd be a full meal right there. That'd be the biggest shrimp taco ever. Sleep, bitch. Don't talk about it, be about it. <laughs> Oh, no, the nuts would be a whole other fucking thing, Polar Bear. That's like a roast for a family right there. Add them to the pile, Arthur. If shrimp got as big as my nuts, I'd be scared to eat them. I'd probably be scared to eat them if it was as big as my dick, actually. I'd be like, nah, man, you know, I eat enough chicken with steroids, I, and I don't need no steroid shrimp, too. <laughs> Gonna make it go boom. Things to make it go boom. Wherever you put it, it'll probably work. There's a couple of them if you want to. Well. I probably wouldn't have stood there after I hit light. Probably wasn't a good idea. She said, I already hit light. Boom. That is the last time I'll mention it. Nice job, buddy. You got that right, Polar Bear, because, I mean, Maria's like the only one on the planet that, want, that wants me anyway, and she don't want none of my pig nuts, so I would have to agree with that Polar Bear when I really think about it, because... No, just light it and move. Uh, 
yellow dot. Every time I count my feet, where, where did it, what, what, what did he say that in publicly? I don't remember that. Every time I count my feet, it's part. Close your eyes and go to sleep, bitch. Die, motherfucker, die, go to sleep, bitch. Ouch. Off with his head. Obviously, never played Raid Dead before. They obviously said that. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes and cup of joe. <coughs> I got so many troubles nobody knows. You see me at my highs and you see me at my lows. I have to mute sometimes when I blow my nose. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so that I could understand them. They were my magic shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. From that day on, if I was going anywhere, I was running. Step Brothers, where he said that? I ain't seen that in a while. I'll have to check that out again. Every time I come, I produce a squirt. <laughs> oh, remember that. I remember from you saying it already that don't even have to scroll up. It's hilarious. I can't. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm still on my screen. Wait, wait who's driving my boat? Yeah, I've seen Step Brothers. It's been it's been a while. <coughs> I know I have because I love Will Ferrell. Ricky Booby. Ron Burgundy. I love Ron Burgundy almost as much as I love Ron Jeremy. Those who don't know who Robin Burgundy is, he's the anchor man. I 
And dude, he is, I mean, I know it's, it's movies, <coughs> but <coughs> on screen, dude, he's got to bang some seriously hot chicks, dude. I mean, he was in that one with uh, the other guys, or whatever it was, with uh, Marky Mark. He was in that one, and uh, he was married to uh, Eva Menendez, or whatever her name is. And then in uh, Anchorman, he was with Christina Applegate, and then that other hot uh, black chick. She was hot as fuck, too. What missing is this, Dobson? What missing is this? Got a belly full of white dog shit. And now you lay this shit on me? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember that either. Is that the same movie? Maybe I haven't seen it. I think I'd remember that one. <coughs> what missing is this? Forgive What's me, missing, Jeffrey? Me and my what are you telling me is missing? To our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash hill. Oh, missing. My bad, Jeffrey. I should have, I should have been able to figure that out. Um, we're deputies now. And, uh, this is where the war starts up between the Greys and the Braithwaites. I mean, there's been a war between the Greys and the Braithwaites forever, but... We're about to try to play both sides because Dutch is a piece of shit like that. So, literally, what we're doing, we're deputy sheriffs for Sheriff Gray of Rhodes, and we're busting the moonshine operations that belong to the Braithwaites in the swamp. And then we're going to eventually we're going to steal a wagon of moonshine. This might be the wagon of moonshine we do it with. And we try to sell it back to, to. <coughs> Mrs. Bra Mrs. Braithwaite, Mrs. Braithwaite, however you say it. <coughs> because Dutch is just a greedy fucking retard. We should be able to shoot Dutch right in the back of the head right now and the game just continue. Because it, it would have been so much better if somebody would have just stuck him out. Dutch is like the Suge Knight of, of the Wild West, man. He starts all the shit but keeps his hands clean. Or gets out of it when he does do something. Whoop his ass. She's a bitch. Better than Talladega Nuts. That yeah. brothers. Yeah, I love John C. Riley. Even in fucking King Kong, I love fucking John C. Riley. You guys shouldn't be here. <laughs> Farley and Spade. Man, that's fucking dude. You know, you know how many movies we never get to see. I mean, I, I, and that's that's just that that doesn't even compare to the fact the man's gone from his family and the people who knew him. You know, damn man. Say, give that bitch a shot if you have to. Who's that? Do 
you strip. I'll stretch. Bye bye bye. It's like the NOS button right there. Go, baby, go. <laughs> He asked for it. He got it. Got his ass hand to him by a girl. I never knew you were quite so good at running away. Part of Spade and Sandler, right? You down quite so much. Man, that song by Adam Sandler, dude. That, that, I, I, I still fucking cry like a little bitch every time I listen to it. You'll know that better than anything. Be well. My friend Chris Farley by, by Adam Sandler. Gonna say you're like a son to me. If you're a fan of them dudes, man, and you ain't heard that song, you need to. It's fucking it's badass. Alright, so that's done. Got bronze again. We get a lot of fucking bronze, man. I don't understand. Huh? I did a couple things to Yep. Abigail. Bill. Jeremiah was a Compson. He lived at that Compson stead. Yeah, that's shitty. That's horrible, man. Don't ever do that again, Willie. I'm sorry. Alright, what do you guys want to do? Well, I said I was shutting it down after that mission, actually. Yeah, I've been live a second time now for three and a half hours, so we're going to call it a night on here, guys. Got that mission completed. We're like deputy sheriffs and shit now. You see the badge. The sheriff's back in town. It's on like Donkey Kong. My new suit paid for by the fella I saved from a snake bite twice. I sucked the venom out of his leg this this time because I hit the wrong button. So since I, since I actually sucked the venom out once... I, I let Maria buy a suit, <coughs> get a suit on his tab. <coughs> Normally I just get a watch, but since I actually sucked the venom out of his leg and it was really close to his third leg, then uh, I was like, yeah, we can get a suit. <coughs> Toll booth. Those were good times. Farther speed and center. Yep. Toll booth, Willie. Like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. So she could have gave Arthur some of that ass, too. I'll protect you. You take care of me. Let me give a little taste to taste. Nope, nobody want to give Arthur no pussy. He fed everybody, he took fucking built everybody's tents up, took care of every fucking thing, man. Nobody can give Arthur no pussy. That's just completely fucked up, man. Riders on this game. Hello, She'd be ashamed of herself for that. Fuck Michael. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said oh, you knew damn, I got too close to it. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. There's another thing. Off the Sandler album. I don't remember that one. I remember some of them. My piece of shit car and 
Um, something about a gate. Makes the sheep farther and steady. <laughs> I believe it, Jeffrey. I believe it. Hit a target across the room for sure. <laughs> yeah, he sucked that venom out good. Oh my god. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. Back for haircut, fast B. React to toll booth, Willie. Willie, I think he's react to toll booth, Willie. Willie, I might, I might have to do that. I might have to do that. Hey man, holy shit! I just realized I can do reactions, man. Because of Twitch, because of that camera, and because of aircasts, I can do a fucking reaction. By myself. Wow. This is nifty, y'all. I just realized that shit. I can turn on my webcam and go to YouTube and do a reaction all by myself and not have to set the camera up in front of the TV. Well, I'll try it and see what it sounds like. Matter of fact, I'll test it out on that. I will test it. Yeah. Yeah, we can set it up and both of us set on fucking yeah, love seat or whatever. Of the yep. Yep. Video yep. Video. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this down. We got a mail call video. We got to get recorded. Um, Fuck, I'm glad you brought that up, dude. I did not even realize we could do reaction videos now because of that webcam. That is fucking awesome, dude. That changes the whole fucking game, baby. That changes everything. All right, y'all. Peace out. Y'all be good. Be good at it. Be good to each other. Until they fuck you over. And then fuck them. Love life for me, baby. Bye-bye.